www.ghostbusters.com. You can do the same thing here as well, just to do some research, just to see if there's a buying market out there. And study their customers, like I said, you know, if you're going after a plumbing business owner or a realtor or electrician or a specific type of plumber or a specific type of lawyer, then study their customers. And when I say their customers, I'm talking about, let's say, you, for example, you're consulting a business owner and then, you know, the business owner's, cons the business owner's customers. So study their customers. How urgent are their needs? How much are they willing to pay to fix their problems? Like I gave you the example of the plumbers. Plumbers, their customers obviously have urgent needs. I mean, think about it. If your sewage pipeline just broke, then your house is going to smell like sewage. So definitely you're, you're urgent. You're very, very, have very urgent needs. You're willing to pay good money to get it fixed. Otherwise your house is going to really smell. So. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is basically spy on the clients of your business clients. And to do that, I want you to go to google.com and type in quantcast.com. So this is what quantcast.com looks like. Basically, this site is a research tool. It's free and it allows you to find information about more about the audiences of a specific niche. So, for example, if I want to type in plum plumbing or plumber I'll type in plumber and you'll notice that Quantcast gives you data about these sites and then from these sites you can if you go down to the about the bottom area it'll show you a little bit about the client each client you know 57 percent are male 43 percent are female the majority are 35 to 50 years old or some are 18 to 34. Caucasian seems to be a mixture. No kids. You know, it, it basically gives you an idea of what kind of person, you know, the client is. And being that most of the clients are about 35 to 50, probably means that they have good money, or at least they're at least stable income. And you can see how much they earn and things like that. So, this will give you a good, not exactly exact data, but it will give you a good impression of what kind of clients your client has. So if your client is a high earner, like it has a, has a job and their clients, you know, are able to pay them, you know, good money, then most likely that means that when you get into that niche, then they're going to be able to have that budget to afford your consulting services. Now, if you go to Quantcast and you, go do research on a specific niche and you come out to find that all of the people viewing that niche are like teenagers and younger than 18 you might not want to go after that niche because you know that they're probably not going to have money or they would have to convince their parents to buy you know the consulting services and things like that for them to improve so this is just a good tool to use for that purpose so think about that. Who are your customers and who are their customers and what are their needs? Are they willing to pay a good amount of money? Because you want to focus on clientele that is actually doing well, making money, and willing to pay you good money to do consulting or service-based projects and things like that to improve their sales or to improve themselves. Now let's study the, let's talk about the competition analysis. Now, when you figure out who your competition is, there are different ways to go about this. If you're going online, you can go online, you can pretty much use the same method online or offline. You can use keyword tools like Keyword Spy and look at their pay-per-click ads. So let's say, for example, that I am running a, let's say, a video marketing consulting business. So I can figure out, I can go online, go to Google, type in, you know, video marketing consulting or marketing consulting and see what kind of pay-per-click ads come about or go to Keyword Spy and see how much competition you have. You can use other tools like Market Samurai. I'm not using that in this video series just because I want to keep 
everything free. But personally, I use Market Samurai. It costs about, I think it costs about 97 bucks at the time when I purchased it. But it tells you a lot about your market and your competition analysis. Now, in terms of offline, you can also use keyword tools. You can also find pay-per-click ads. But you can also look at newspapers, niche magazines, niche newsletters, and so forth. Now, while you can use all the fancy tools like Market Samurai and other keyword tools to find your competition, I'm going to show you a simple way to research your competition. Now, if you want to dig deeper, you're going to have to use the keyword tools. But this will help you get an idea of what your competition is selling and get an idea of what you can sell as well. Now this is a two-step process. The first thing to do is of course is to go to Google. Now when you're in Google the first thing I want you to do is there's two two keywords or two Google what we call Google operators. If you put this into Google for example and all in title what we're basically searching it are websites that contain the keywords video consulting or video marketing consulting let's say video consulting so this shows us online video consulting network video consulting streaming video consulting video production digital and so forth now I'm gonna change this to online video consulting because everybody wants to know how to get their videos on YouTube and how to get their videos to do how to use video marketing to market their products and things like that so as you can see when I put online video consulting I see a whole lot of different types of online video consulting so what you could do is you could go through here and just take a look at what people are offering so obviously we can see that this site provides video consultations for business owners marketing professionals and so forth so basically what I want you to do is just browse it, look through it, see what kind of stuff they're providing. This site here, online video consulting, online video strategy, online video consulting. So you could go here and just get some ideas. Once you have figured out one or two sites that you feel like are very close to you let's say for example the viral pulse or let, let's say the let's see here um, vidhost.co.nz because this was actually an online video consulting it looks like an online video consulting firm so let's say that once you have figured out websites that are closer to you because not everyone is going to fit something that's similar to you but once you've found that the next step is to find the related sites now if you put related colon and I'll do that in just a minute if I go back to Google I'll open a new tab and I type in related colon basically after this you want to type in the web address so in this case we have www.vidhost.co.nz and we're going to put that here. Now it doesn't really show us anything, anything, so we're going to try this over and over again until we see a bunch of results. So I could try this one. So I'm going to try the viral pulse. Usually the ones at the top are better, or the bigger companies. So as we can see here, related basically what Google does is it goes out and finds sites that are related to viralpulse.com. So essentially it basically picks out the competition 
of this site. So because this site is somewhat your competition anyways, their competition is your competition and so forth. So as you can see, net video consulting, digital video and consulting. So you can go through here and get a good idea and open the website, look at what they're offering. Obviously this is network security, so that's that could be a little different consulting, but it gives you an idea of what kind of different types of video consulting that you could brand out or branch out into. So online video advertising, security video, different types of video and things like that. And you can do the same thing with other things like let's say for example that you were providing purely Facebook advertising so Facebook consulting and you can change it around you can do Facebook consulting you can do Facebook consultants and consultants with an S and just go through and just use the same methods that I've showed you And once you find that site, then of course do related so that you can see not just that site, but other of your competition. Just look through it and get a good idea of who your competition is. You don't have to worry too much about all the statistical data, but figure out who your competition is, what they're providing, and get that idea of what you can provide as well.